Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is disconnected from Photon or failed to connect to Photon network. So if you're receiving these errors, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And then over here, make a right click on the game exe files, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to turn on vpn so if you're using vpn uh, you can turn on the vpn and then check this has worked for many players so you can use vpn or if the vpn is already on still you're receiving the error you can turn off vpn and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so for this uh, if you have any third party antivirus uh, like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows Security, then open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security, then click on Windows Security, and then click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Click on Allow an App Through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow, and then click on Add an Allowed App. Click on Browse All Apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686, open the Steam folder, open the Steam apps folder, open the common folder, open the game folder, and then select the game exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse, and again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. And then select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, uh, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still you are receiving the error message then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your pc do not ignore this step just restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working restart steam so go to steam at the top, click on Steam and then click on Exit. Now, once Steam is closed, now you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on Run as Administrator. And while restarting Steam, if there is any update for the game, update the game. Now, still you're facing the problem. Next step is to verify the game files. Now, this is important. So make sure that you verify the game files. To verify the game files, go to Steam. On the top click on library and then find the game in the list make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so on now you can for this open windows settings now go to go to time and language now go to date and time and then over here you can see set time zone automatically if this is on if this is off turn it on if set time automatically is off turn it on make sure both are on and then scroll down and then you will see sync now option so click on sync now if you see any error in red color just click on sync now once again and then go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here select the right country and then check next step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle first of all shut down your computer now once you shut down your computer after you shut down your computer unplug the power cable from the computer then turn off the wi-fi router then wait for a few seconds and then restart your wi-fi router plug in the power cable back to the computer and then start your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to run these commands these commands are provided in the video descriptions type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here so copy the command 
one by one paste it over here hit the enter key now copy the second command now paste it over here hit the enter key and now run the third command paste it hit the enter key run this command paste it hit the enter key and then run the last command paste it hit the enter key now you have to restart your computer you restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can check now the next step is to use google dns server now for this open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box open control panel now go to network and internet and over here you have to click on network and sharing center now over here you will see your wi-fi so click on your wi-fi and then click on properties over here now over here select internet protocol version 4 tcp iv4 and then click on select this and then click on properties now once you click on property select the second option over here use the following dns server addresses now over here type in 8888 so you, you have to type in 88 i have already in my case it, it's already typed in so type in 8888 and then at, for alternate dns servers type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on ok close this and let this complete now close this close it now you can launch the game and then check next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available like you can if you have any other network you can switch to different network and once you're connected to different network you can check you can even switch to mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network over here and once connected now you can launch the game and then check if you're using vpn then close vpn and then check next tip is to use ethernet connection so if you have an ethernet cable you can connect the ethernet cable to the ethernet port of the computer so if your computer has an ethernet port you can use ethernet cable to connect and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows settings go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed now restart your computer and after the system restart you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel